Greetings everyone and welcome to Utique Bridal. It is springtime and I couldn't resist all the sales of faux flowers at the craft departments. So I bought a bundle for you and my main color inspiration was from my red tomato pleated skirt I was wearing a lot for the spring. I gave myself a fun challenge by giving myself a budget of $15 and see how many different things I can create with all these supplies. I will be breaking down the prices in the description box below and also on my blog. I'm not going to be including the price of the wire cutter, scissors, or glue gun. So here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to press pause and review the list. So let's see what I was able to create with all these supplies. The first thing I made was a flower bouquet. If you like the look with garden pick flowers without a lot of structure, then this would be a very cute bouquet. I basically just gathered the flowers and made sure that the main color was on the outside. Then I would just pull on the flowers to give it some height or push it down, just depending on the look I like. Next, I wrapped the wire around the stem of the flowers to keep them together. And then starting at an angle and at the bottom of the flower stems, I started wrapping the one and a half inch ribbon along the flower stems to give it a decorative look. Now trim the ribbon, fold it in to hide the raw edges, and add a little glue, and then fold it down. Now I'm going to make a quick little ribbon just to add the final touch. Trim the tips of the ribbon, add glue to the back, and then just place it onto the bouquet. Now what I like to do is just give both the ribbon and the flowers some fullness. So I'm just going to spread out the flowers again. And I'm complete with the flower bouquet. Now another option instead of a flower bouquet, I created a pomander ball. I took the bouquet apart and used the three main flower stems. For this project, I needed the styrofoam ball and the wire cutter. Here I'm going to cut the flowers, making sure I have about two inches of stem. I had some cute mini roses in this as well. Once I'm complete with cutting the flowers, I'm going to stick the first flower into the styrofoam ball. And then I'm going to just stick another flower at the other end and then one on each side of those flowers. And then to add some balance, I'm just going to add another flower on top and bottom of that arrangement. Now for the rest of the flowers, I'm going to just use them to fill in the gaps. And once you're done with filling in the spaces, you now have a pomander ball. To add a final decorative touch, I'm going to cut about 60 inches of ribbon and then tie a little bow at one end of the ribbon. I'm going to add glue and then place it in between the flowers. To make it a little more secure, I'm going to push a pin into the ribbon. Now trim the tips of the ribbon and you are complete. Now if you don't need a pomander ball but you'd like to have some boutonnieres, here I'm removing all the mini roses from the pomander ball. I was able to get seven mini roses. So here are the other flowers and filler stems that I've purchased. And again, I'm going to trim about two to three inches of stem. Here I'm trimming some green fillers and then some yellow flowers that I thought would be a good contrast to the red. Next, I'm going to cut the wire in half to create two flower wires. I will start arranging the flowers. I'm using the yellow and the white flowers to give it some height. And then I'm going to lay the mini rows a little bit lower. Now add the filler greenery and then start wrapping the wire around the stems of the flowers. Next, I wrapped it with green floral tape. Don't forget to stretch the green floral tape to make it a little bit more sticky. Now to add the final touch, I'm going to wrap it with decorative ribbon. Here I used 5 8 inch ribbon and then I'm going to trim it and add a little bit of glue to secure it. And don't forget the pin Repeat this process for the rest of the flowers. Now since I don't need so many boutonnieres, I made corsages from it. So I'm going to remove the ribbons from two boutonnieres. I'm going to take the flowers and place it opposite each other and wrap it together with wire. I'm going to take two flowers from the pomander project and use it for the corsage. Before I glue the flowers down, I'm going to take 36 inches of ribbon and then start folding it on top of each other to create some ribbon embellishment. 
When I get to the end of the ribbon, I'm going to use a wire to secure the ribbon together. And I left enough wire to wrap the corsage with it. From the back, I'm going to secure it by twisting the wire. And now I'm going to glue on the other two flowers onto the corsage. At this point, I rearranged the ribbon a little bit and I am complete with the corsage. If you need more corsages, you can just create it from the other boutonnieres. Using two pins, one near the bottom and one near the top of the corsage, and you can place it onto the mother of the bride or mother of the groom. If you don't want to pin it onto the dress, you can make a wrist corsage. Here I used a heavyweight paper, or you can even use an old gift box. And then I'll cut out a one and a half inch by three inch rectangle, fold it in half, and then cut two slits so that the ribbon can slide through them. I cut the 5 8 inch ribbon about 21 inches long and slid it through the slits. I glued the paper together and then generously adding glue, I placed it on top of the base and then laid the corsage on top. I'm going to add a little bit more glue to secure the ribbon. And now it's ready to be tied onto the wrist. So do you remember the seven boutonnieres I created earlier in the tutorial? I'm going to remove the ribbon and create a flower crown from it. So I'm going to take two wires and then crisscross it, fold it back onto itself, and then start wrapping it. Now I'm going to take that wire and then place it around my head until it is comfortable. And then make sure it crosses. And where it crosses, I'm going to start wrapping it around the wire to create a circular crown. Next, I'm going to tear about 6 inches of floral tape and then start wrapping the circular crown. Don't forget to stretch the tape a little to give it a little bit more adhesiveness. Repeat the process until the whole wire is covered. Now we are ready to place the flowers onto the circular base. I'm going to take the first flower and then kind of wrap the end to follow the circular shape of the crown and then wrap it with wire. Now place the second flower onto the crown and start wrapping it with wire. Continue this process until all the flowers are on the crown. Once all the flowers are on, you are complete with the flower crown. And now you can crown yourself to be queen for the day. Next, I'm going to show you two different ways to wear veils with the flower crown. If you like, you can move the flower crown up a little bit onto your head. And then from the back, I'm going to slide the veil, and that completes the first look. For the second look, I'm going to use a drop veil and place the flower crown over the veil. And that concludes my spring flower challenge. So which spring flower project was your favorite? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell to get updates. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you got inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. Feel free to click on any of the following videos to view the tutorials.